Hey guys, so I just got home from doing some crafting slash one article of clothing shopping. So I wanted to do a really quick uh, haul for you guys, mainly because these items that I'm using are going to be coinciding with something coming in the very near future, hopefully, for you all. So, and it's also going to be, you know, items that if I do well enough are going to become future DIYs. So, without further ado, I did quite a bit of shopping, so let's go ahead and get into this haul. Um, like everybody else says, I'm not bragging, I'm just kind of sharing with you all, and I just want to kind of share the experience of you know, the fun stuff that I find because you might be able to find it at your own local stores. So we're going to do the article of clothing first since it's the first bag right next to me. And I went to Torrid. I just have to say, I absolutely love Torrid. I don't get to go very often because it is kind of a splurge, but when you do splurge, it is totally worth it. So I was just kind of going in to see what they had new and I found this awesome little vest. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but it's so cool and it's kind of like a high low type thing. So here's how it looks and it has a little zipper in the front there and it's kind of like a high low. I will try to take a picture for you guys soon on how this looks on me because it's so adorable and I love it and oh, it's just so great. Who doesn't love Torrid? So that's my like one article of clothing for you guys. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is AC Moore and I love AC Moore. Um, AC Moore is a local crafting store and it's pretty much the first crafting store I go to when I'm looking for stuff just because they're on the cheaper end of everything and obviously you know if you're the average working woman or man you don't want to spend millions and millions of dollars on little things so the first thing I got when I open up this bag are these oh they don't get stuck together are these little miniature metal cutters and they're so great they come in all these different shapes and even some of the shapes are repeated but they're in different sizes so you have your triangle your square like your two kind of tier ones and then your diamond I love the diamond the diamond's so cute and then you've got your i don't know what you would call that but that's pretty cool um and then let's see you've got a heart a flower a bigger version of whatever, more rounded, whatever that is, a circle, a star, and a rectangle. And I've always, I've already got some ideas for half of these. So this is going to be fun, and this is obviously what I'm going to be working, using these to work on stuff for you guys in the future. Um, I also have this um, Sculpey translucent liquid Sculpey clay, Sculpey. Uh, so this kind of gives away what I'm going to be doing for you guys, but I didn't say this wasn't going to give it away, but I am starting to play around with polymer clay just to kind of reveal everything. So going along with that note, I also got this poly blade. So this is supposed to help with cutting polymer clay and we're going to see how that works for me. And hopefully I don't cut myself. I have had an issue in the past with um, an X-Acto knife where I end up slicing open my thumb. This one, to be exact, um, the scar is kind of faint, but you know, three stitches later, you learn your lesson, I promise. So that is it for my AC Moore haul. And the last one I have is from Walmart. And um, before I do the bag, I also have two organizational items and I picked up these pink totes and these pink totes are so cute. I don't even think the camera is doing them justice, but they're so adorable. And I picked these up for my crafting table 
because I definitely need some sort of organization going on on that mess. When I film my DIYs for you guys, you only see about half of the table. And then everything behind the camera is nothing but just jumbled mess. So these are going to help me organize that a little bit. Um, and if you've seen my crafting room tour, um, you know I do have quite a bit of like glitter and glitter glue back there. So I'm going to be using that to kind of store that kind of stuff too. So what I also got from Walmart are a pack of 10 brushes. And these are, you know, to kind of help with painting any kind of polymer clay creations that I make. And I've got some, some obviously, <laughs> some paints. Uh, I have this Folk Flirt Metallic Red, which is really pretty. Um, so we're going to see how that works. And then I have this 20216 Fuchsia by Apple Barrel, which are typical, you know, Walmart brands. And I got this white from Apple Barrel. And I also got Jet Black from Apple Barrel. So those are my four paints that I got. And that is it for Walmart. Walmart is done. So as you can see, I did get quite a few crafting items. And they are going to be used um, in future DIYs slash the new series I am working on, which I will have more information up about that soon. So you'll just have to stick tuned for that. I'm not sure if you appreciate hauls or not. I enjoy hauls because, you know, you never know it's at your local crafting store unless you see somebody who's hauling it. So <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Make sure to hit that subscribe video for future DIYs and more random videos like this. Also, make sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram because I will be posting pictures of everything that I have gotten tonight on Instagram, of course. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope you enjoyed this haul. Once again, I was not bragging. I'm just kind of showing you different craft stuff that's at your local stores and informing you that these are items that will be used in my future videos. So if you want to follow along with me, you might want to pick some of this up. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night, and I'll see you soon. Bye.